In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. So, hello everyone! Welcome to Uncanny Valley, a tabletop RPG played in the Hunter the Visual Storyteller System, brought to you by the Saving Throw Podcast Network. Tonight, we are going to return to the grand estate of Mason's family home in the library with a graying man holding a glass of liquor, addressing him as his son. What do you have to say to your father, Mason? Your father. Um, It's been a while, hasn't it? Been a few months, yeah. I was worried about you. Well. You could have called. I could have called, but I needed to be out there. Our family's tradition of sorts unsettled me. As I'm sure it unsettled you, but look where you are. I don't know. I needed time to think. I still might, but I definitely need, at the least, advice. Um. So... He pulls out his checkbook, and he says, So how much do you need? Are you okay? Are you doing all right? (laughs) I'm fine. I need information. Uh, and I want to check up on my family, if that's feasible. Well, the the girls are at the summer home. Oh. So R- remind uh, me again where we keep the summer home. Uh, you recall that your summer home is in uh, Waco, Texas. You have a summer home. Who goes to Texas for summer? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, these insane people. Hey, you know what? That's like you go to Montana for a summer home, and then. Never mind. <laughs> Sisters, they go they... down there so they can spend more money on <laughs> keeping cool. Yeah. Right, real quick. <laughs> they want to make sure they keep their nice and comfortable. That's what makes it luxurious. <laughs> real quick, DM, what time is it? Is it late, late? Uh, right now, wait, let's see, you left in the mid-afternoon. Okay. So, yeah, right now it's, they get there to like 8 o'clock, so it's about 4 p.m. Okay, I might call them if we, if we get time. Um. Well, look, if your trip into the woods was anything like mine, you know that we're not just the top of the food chain, humans. Yeah? Of course. You know, we would have talked about all this several months back if you had come to me and let me take care of things. Sure. Instead of just flying off the handle... Well, you think it might be an appropriate reaction to finding out that I've been put in a life-threatening situation by my father, who loves me dearly. And with no warning. Just go, son. Travel. This is the mission. You must undertake it to be our heir. We all go through certain rites of passage in our family legacy, and I am no more able to control them than you are, son. You're not able to... And now that you're here, I would very much like to partake in the rituals which you spit in the face of, running away like you did, like some lost child. How long are you in town? I'm in town for the night. Well, then we'll only have time for one. And then he looks at you, he takes a sip from his brandy, and he says, The next phase in your right 
which we must do with utmost haste, because we are very much behind, is we must retrieve a bone from your ancestor's grave and fashion you a relic. Hmm. At David what point Kermish? in my life was this all supposed to become apparent? I was ready to run the business, but all of a sudden there's there's wolves in the night hunting us like sheep. The family, from what I've read, used to be better than this. We used to be together. Now we hate each other. And you want me to go dig up my family's remains? And what is what is our purpose? What are we doing here? The purpose will be revealed to you in the due time when you complete our sacred process. I want to tell you, son, but your dilly-dallying has not helped your case. And anyway, the dangers which hunt humanity are the reason that you must do this. I'm worried for you. I can't protect you unless you have some of the... Some of the spiritual protections, which are our rituals which have been passed down, will grant you. I, he pulled out his checkbook again. Seriously, do I have to bribe you? You've been on your yes. own for two months. I know you need some. The yes. Darla would love it if you would just I, accept that man's bribery. <laughs> At the very least, you can buy yourself a safe house. It will make me sleep better at night. I have a source of transportation. I might do something on behalf of the family while I'm out and about. But I'm not just going to take money. Look, give me... I'm working on a repository of information of sorts. And I can share some of that with the family if you need but I think if I'm not going to be here, I, I I don't feel right about taking family's money like this. <sighs> I understand but, your requirements as a young man and your pride, but understand as your father, I need to do this for you, son. I can't let you just walk out not knowing that you have what you need to be safe. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe b building some equipment I need. A small space. I've been saving a little bit of money, but it's not coming together as easily as I wanted. Here's basically what I'm working on. I just pull out a section of my journal that I've been taking notes on what I might need to fashion equipment or work on guns or what have you. And, uh, Put that into the travel trailer, and he he scans it up and down, nods, uh, puts it in his his the lapel pocket of his emerald green suit jacket with the family crest over the the uh, pocket, and he says, "It will be done." Well, thank you. Now you need to go dig up my family's remains. Specifically, you uh, you should find the earliest grave you can. I myself was only able to identify my grandfather's, but I know there is still an earlier one which would produce a much more powerful item. That's what? all I can tell you. Beyond that, it is up to your own ingenuity. How much of my family's remains am I unearthing? Am I taking a rib? Am I taking a finger? Am I taking... A single bone is what I retrieved, and it's been perfectly sufficient through my life and through my travels. So... Retrieve it, return home, and we will break bread together. <coughs> I, I might have my grievances, but it is good to see you, Father. It is good to see you, son. I'll give him a hug. He hugs you. He kisses your temple, and he says, go with God. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> oh, and, my. Oh, my God. Uh, Lordy. Lordy. <laughs> But where's the family uh, crypt? I I I I I need to walk away. So where's the family family crypt? You don't really know. 
Strangely, it, it occurs to you that you've never visited. You've never, you heard people talk about it a lot. But the good news is you are in your family home. <laughs> what, what is anything it? might give you a clue, it's probably here. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done asking for things from dear old dad. So uh, where's our butler? Uh, your butler is waiting right outside the library. Named. Is he named? Did is I he name named? Him? I don't. Named. I, he's he? named. He's named. I don't remember. Oh. Mingus. Thaddeus. Mingus. Chauncey. I guess Chauncey. Thaddeus is good. Thaddeus. Chauncey, come on. And I apologize oh. if we if we named him twice. <laughs> All right. He is now Thaddeus. He's maybe he's one of those guys what, what with two was, first names. What was Papa's name? Papa. Isaac. Isaac. Indeed, Isaac is his name. Not that it was introduced, but his no. name was Isaac. No, We're sure. really bad about names on oh, this man. show. We actually should. Write <laughs> we have a lot. Down. That My is. family has a lot of names, though. The butler. All right. Thaddeus, I, um, I hate to trouble you, but uh, it appears I need to make my way to our crypt. Could you perhaps introduce me with its location? Uh, he, he nods and he says, uh, the official answer is I don't know, but uh, I've been here a long time. He treats you with a, a very warm sort of smile and a touch to your shoulder. <laughs> and uh, moving his shoulder to your back, he guides you over to a uh, a coat closet. Sure. And pulls down a, an old sort of cigar box. And inside, he unfolds a, a sort of map of the town. Sure. It's, uh, it's very old and delicate. It, the blues are saturated almost, you know, white with age. And you do see a couple of uh, dots marked on it. He goes, mm-hmm. I was instructed not to, but uh, I kept this from your father's ritual. Mm. It uh, it just seemed wrong to throw it out. Sure. And then he turns you around. Uh, and in the other side of the hallway, there's a very large portrait yeah. of your family, your generation, you, your sisters, your mother, your dad. It's an oil painting done in a contemporary style. And, uh, uh, Thaddeus goes to the corner, and he slips a finger underneath and and tips it, and it spins sideways. And uh, beyond it, you see a, a wood paneled hidden room full of weapons. Ah, oh. please! It would make me feel much more at ease to know that you have the things you need to stay safe. As you, I'm sure you'll see, uh, you'll have to go into enemy territory. Where where are the dots? Are any of them in the woods to the right or across the river? There's one on your side of the river, uh, but the one that your father has starred is on the other side, on the Kansas or the Missouri side. We'll of Kansas start City. on the safe side. All right. Uh, I'd prefer not to have to use these. I don't like the idea of spilling more uh, family blood. Um put you at ease is there like a silenced pistol or anything yeah yeah there's a there's a sort of glock uh with a, a silencer in a, in a case a wood case yeah i'll just stuff it in a in the coat and okay. uh uh well i'm not gonna take this map for fear of damaging it but and i'm gonna make my way then. So you copy it into your notebook or take a picture? Yeah. Okay. I, I think I should draw it onto my notebook, a rough sketch of it onto my notebook. Okay, cool. So uh, you spend a few minutes doing that, and then you go on your way. Okay. Let's go to the near one and then the far one. All right, so... Um, and I'm going to pull up the, the, the my cloak or whatever, wear a hoodie or anything, because... Uh, you could be wearing a hoodie, that's fair. We are on the safe side of the river, but... This is still Kansas. Have we have we clarified what the what this whole river business is? Nope. No, we don't know anything about it. No. <laughs> Can we clarify for the listeners? Apparently, and there's a safe all side. All will be revealed in all time. Will be revealed. <laughs> Apparently, there's a safe side. <laughs> Listen, it's everybody. Called narrative mystery, Garrett. <laughs> well, it's just that. Okay, we all know that the good side of Kansas City is the is the Missouri side. So I, I think it's up to. Your debate between who lives in Kansas and yeah, which who side's lives in the Missouri. fun? Which side has fun land? I don't know. You mean worlds of fun? Worlds of fun. Fun land. Fun. I don't know. But most everything tourist worthy is in the Missouri side of Kansas City. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, fun. Fun land's the the you know copyright safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, all right, you arrive. It is a small country wait, wait cemetery. How does he get out past us in the bus? You guys yeah. show up four hours later. We're, yeah, we're, yeah. We've, we've been, we haven't been there yet. You all okay. are we're in the... Still... Currently, the rest of the party is in the tour bus, uh, sort of coming home from their trip to the theme park. Oh, I see. That sure was yeah. fun. You guys want more of this cotton candy? <laughs> yeah, I would love some more of your cotton candy. And I bite the whole thing off. <laughs> so, Mason, you drive up. No. Well, it's technically, a port- I'm just hanging out in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a well-maintained modern cemetery. Uh, rather small, uh, sort of rural for, for the, the smaller side yeah. of Kansas City. A big uh, wrought iron fence with brick sort of pedestals at, at even intervals and uh, very new, well-maintained gravestones. For the sake of not having pulled it out of my ass, could I have taken a shovel with me from the house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, there was one in the, in the closet. Right. Sure. Um, goodness. Is it dark yet? Is, or is it the sun just starting to go down? Yeah, it's about five o'clock by the time you get there. And okay. since it is late summer, um, you still have a good hour to hour and 20 minutes of sunlight left. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to leave the shovel in the van for now, because that would look... Probably a good idea. Rather yeah. suspicious. <laughs> 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 but hey, hey, Rob, this guy just walked into the cemetery. Yeah? So what? He's carrying a shovel. Well, it is concerning. <laughs> but let's uh, let's see if we can't uh, walk down the graves for a bit. We're trying to find some names. Sure. Roll me some investigation checks, please. Yes. All right. So um, you managed to find a uh, a sort of map of the area. Sure. Uh, it's an older, or not older. It's it's contemporary, so it's not a complete map. Certain plots are being filled. You know. Uh, but you, your family is not really that big. You know all the names. Yeah. And, uh, you don't see anyone with your last name anywhere in the, in the graveyard. No. Um, for three successes, you do see someone with the last name Hollins. Hmm. On the and, Kansas side? Oh. Uh, so if you want, you can roll me an additional sort of, um, Maybe like a knowledge check or a investigation. What would you recommend? For History. That? Uh, Investigation's my favorite, but I can do a, a something else if you prefer. It's more of a memory check versus you looking for something. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's go with intelligence and academics, maybe. All right. Two. Two. Good on you. It is the last name is Hollins, but you know that not the first name, none of the Hollins family members have that first name. Okay. Well, this is not the place, so I'll uh, make my way. Um, are there subbridges across? I'd rather not take the main highway. That's. Truthfully, not really. Okay. You know, it's a modern city. Most ways across uh, the bridge have turned into so overpasses. Here's an highways. idea. Here's an idea. Um, uh, I'm going to see if there aren't some kind of uh, like a fishing charter deal for the river. And I just want to like bribe the guy to just drop me off on the other side of the river. Fishing? Hmm. Can someone look and see what? if there's a ferry in yeah. in Kansas City? Ferry, that, fishing, I'd buy anything. that. Um, I'm, I'll bet there is. I just, just don't drive over the bridge, dude. <laughs> yeah, what's so dangerous? Yeah, just drive over the bridge, dude. Yeah, just drive over the bridge. <laughs> Why is it such a problem? It sounds as though there's something dangerous afoot. <laughs> I'm being past notes. Foot? We're, yeah, just for just for context, <laughs> everyone here has been giving each other looks like, what are they talking Look. about? <clears throat> There is a ferry, it looks like. Okay, so I'm not going to question where it goes exactly. We'll we'll let narrative license you... carry us through okay. here. So, yes, um, you are welcome to go and try and persuade the ferry operator. It's called the Corn Ferry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, do you want me to roll an investigation and see what I find uh, for transport across? Uh, yeah, we'll say that, that there is a ferry and you know where it is. This was your hometown. Sure. So you're there, but now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try and roll... 
to persuade the fairy guy to drop you at a specific location <laughs> close to the graveyard. Can, can I play the fairy um, guy? Sure you can. I'd love that. Um. <laughs> That's what I call initiative. <laughs> no, this is initiative. Five points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Five points to Garrett. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Garrett. Yeah. Hey, uh, sir, sir. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, fella, I... Uh, uh, a friend of mine's uh, fishing in the creek across the way, and uh, I really don't want to take the time to drop off and all that. Do you mind if I just jump off when we get near the, the shore there? Nah, ferry's closed for evening. I just tied off. What? Well, You're... it is five o'clock. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, just, just uh, you might need to swing across or anything. You need to... Nah, I live over on, the, on this side. Uh, uh... Be kind of inconvenient if I went and tied off my boat on the opposite side of where I need to go. Well, friend, uh, my younger brother over there, he's 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 not he's not the best with uh, taking care of himself in the woods. And if I don't get back across, he's gonna get probably lost. I'd really appreciate it if you just drop me. You don't even need to harbor or anything. I'll swim over there. Is it, if you just get me across, you swim over there. This. This no, is the Mississippi no, no, I'm saying, River. I'm saying just get me mo- most of the way there. You don't have to dock. You don't have to moor. Nothing. Just I'll hop off and handle that little little leg. What are you, what are you offering? I got to pay for fuel for this thing, you know. My eternal gratitude wouldn't be satisfactory, so you'd be helping Eternal us gratitude doesn't pay bills. Don't pay for gas, neither. Uh, well, friend, if you feel that way, I'll... Uh, I'll be, uh... Do I have any money? Shit. Do you? There's no way he's fucking doing this shit for 30 bucks. Um, I know everything's keeping cheap I, in Kansas. I, I appreciate your time. I'll, uh... I'll do what I can, but, uh... I'll make a way across. You know if there's any canoes or paddle boats <laughs> nearby or anything? Make, make them roll for this. Yeah, roll, no. roll um, manipulation um, empathy. It's not manipulation. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, definitely not. Manipulation. This is totes manipulation, my friend. <laughs> this is emotional Malip- manipulation. Manipulation and... Uh, no, no, manipulation expression because he's he's Why? acting. Why? He's I, acting here. <laughs> this is how is this not you empathy? Must, trying to appeal to you must trick back. the man of the fairy <laughs> court. All right, cool. And I, empathy is if you're trying to relate to somebody. Expression is if you're trying to lie to somebody. I don't have a dice pool then. All right, give me a chance. To <laughs> chance die. Also, why didn't you just offer him a blowjob or something, man? Yeah, Because I'm not gay! <laughs> it's, it's not gay, counted. it's efficient. <laughs> everybody's everybody's <laughs> solution can saying? be offering a blowjob. <laughs> yes. right. well, we'll is, keep that in mind. The next I, time Wolf needs something, all right? We all, we all know this. We all know right. that the primary form of courage is I, I walk off. I need to find another way across. Everybody right. knows it's not gay if you just needed to get somewhere. As he, uh, so it's late. <laughs> What'd you roll? You can offer him the thirty dollars you have. Sad. So, so it's late without without the ferry. You pretty much just have to drive across. I but just told the good him my news mom is, died or something. The car you're driving belongs to the production. It's not registered to you. Sure. Okay. So, I mean, it's this is part of the game, man. This is a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Um. God, is there any other way? I can't think of any other way. Dude, it, the, it's, I mean, it's Kansas and their infrastructure is shitty, but the bridge will hold up. That's the not thing what I'm worried cool. about. Okay, so... Um, He's worried about the corn fairy. <laughs> Can I just corn throw on a hat? Exciting a adventures in yep. bridge crossing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's still like 536, right? So the traffic's fairly it's like, busy. It didn't take you that long. It's okay. like 5, 515. Cool. And then, then back roads the whole way there afterwards. Sure. So, um, yeah, you take the back roads, you're looking over your shoulder a lot, uh, you pull up at the next location, and uh, you look around, and you see, let me see, let's see which one you went to. All right, so you see a uh, chapel, a Baptist uh, sort of church with a, sure. you know, a white steeple and red brick walls. Sure. And... Uh, Around the back, you see a small collection of uh, very old stone crypts. Okay. Uh, is is anyone attending the, the chapel this time? Uh, well, it's a Wednesday night, so no. Well, <laughs> Wednesday morning is busy, but not... All right. Uh, any um, placards or... Um, 
Sure. Yeah, you disc. you scan them, and uh, they're pretty hard to read. They're, they're rather old, and they are carved into the stone itself. Sure. And it's discolored with age and a little overgrown. They're not like metal plaques. Um, go ahead and roll me an, an investigation. God, I should have just asked my dad. Should have. Uh, two. All right, so you do find one. Uh, and it does have the name Harper on it. Sure. It does not list the specific individuals inside, but it does look like a family crypt with your family name on it. Okay. I would like to uh, go check that out. Uh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> how do you get in? <laughs> okay. So, it's uh, a, how, it's is, a... how is it uh, set up? Is it a sealed It's a. Area? It's a... F- uh, a rectangular uh, crypt, above ground stone yeah. crypt with columns and steps, and there is a, a, a sort of place where a stone has been laid in, but it is sealed. It's not okay. something you can go inside. You'll have to break it in some way. That I have lived with my family for most of my life. Might I be able to unseen sense my lineage? Just feel if that really is that. Oh, fuck it, go for it. I think that's, <laughs> that's creative. Let's let's see. It's you're not a normal family either. <laughs> not exactly. Uh, one, two, and a ten. Two. Two. Uh, that's a big pool, not much. You don't you don't really get a read on it. It doesn't stand out to you. Okay. Uh, just I'd like to just take a little bit longer, just mm-hmm. double check, because I'm not going to bust into a freaking crypt at a church on this side of the river for yeah. nothing. Sure. Sun's getting low, and you stand there wringing your hands for a little, not really sure if you want to, you know, commit... <laughs> three. <laughs> commit a crime. <laughs> uh, yeah, for three, you, you sort of, you walk up, and you start, you know, putting your shovel to the edge of the, of the seam between the stones, and as you you start to dig in, you just think, this, this doesn't feel right. Okay. You really don't think this is the right place. You don't have a reason to think it. You just, okay. it feels like this isn't what okay. you're supposed to do. Well, I want to leave and have a look around the church. Are there any older graves out out back, out, out yonder? Do I see any old cemeteries around? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting that you ask. So around the church, there are uh, sort of sparse trees that turn into undeveloped wilderness and, sure. and rolling hills. And uh, through those trees, you do see some sporadic, tilted, old headstones uh, that are sort of a part of the land, but not maintained and not close to the church like the crypts are. Okay. Well, uh, let's yeah make my way over there. Um... If it's still light out, I'd kind of like to get in the tall grass or something. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's getting dim, but but yeah, you uh, roll me a, a sneak check, I guess. Okay. Stealth and uh, dexterity, I guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two, three. Okay. All right, yeah, you do great. No one, no one can see you. Okay. <sighs> so uh, you go over there. These stones are really, really hard to read. Okay. Can I? Although one of them does have a a date on it. Okay. And the date is, uh, what would that be? 1874. Well, can I take a pinch of dirt between my fingers and rub it where the text would be and see if I can get it in whatever grooves are left? Sure, you can do that. <laughs> okay. You want to do sort of a backwoods uh, rubbing or... on your your on your notebook? I, I, I'm just impressed because you keep looking at all these written notes in your phone, and then you just pull out pieces of paper. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> He's super Eight, in character 18, here. 18, yeah. Uh, 1878. Oh, fuck. Wait. Yeah. No. Not that one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, um, so did you want me to roll anything for that? What? I'm just, I'm just uh, yeah, roll me, yeah, roll me dexterity crafts just to see if it works. Maybe it's names, dog. A one. 
Uh, well, it's a good thing you only need one. That's good. So uh, you take a, a piece of your notebook and uh, a stone from the ground, now that you've gotten some mud on it, you do a rubbing, and you come away with the name Bethany. Oh, where are you on that tree, Bethany? Oh, shit. Oh, man, jackpot. Huh? Uh, you did made say- an actual tree? Yes. Did a... Did, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did, uh, and you don't even remember all the people on it it's so big? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the anyways. Wow. All right. So Bethany, did it? Did Father say it needed to be a, a male member of my family? I don't think. No, he, did. he didn't make anything overtly misogynistic. Great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a man. Seems, bone. seems like something. You it it seems like man. something that could be on the table. No, I have to, my <laughs> bones are now, listen, more magical. It's a, than it's a valid them. question. Yeah. <laughs> In this family, this is a valid question. But right. no, he did not specify. All right. So. I ain't making no idol out, out of no lady bones. <laughs> lady bones. Ooh, those lady bones. They're too soft. <laughs> You know, <laughs> actually, that's here comes probably... my failure son with his lady bone idol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I want to take a look around, lady see bone. who's where, and then before I start doing anything, I want to see if anyone's in eye shot. All right, yeah, dark, you but... uh, roll my perception check. Sure. You peek around behind your shoulder now that you've identified what uh, what you're dealing with. Uh, two. No one's around. Okay. And well, you're you're pretty confident in that. Let's start digging up my uh, great mother. great grandmother's bones. Yay! I'm Kelly Valley. Very <laughs> carefully. Yahoo, yahoo. Ooh, it feels you. deeply wrong. Yeah. But you do. Oh. Sorry. Oh, one last. I just want to do that unseen thing. Again. After you go back to the van, eat your shovel. Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, four. Four. Four for your unseen sense. Yeah. There is a spirit in these bones. Don't mind me, Mr. Gravedigger. I'm just um, hitting bones from a misogynistic river cult. That's kind of spooky. Uh, in the bones. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, um, well, you know, it's unseen sense. So yeah. there's there is something that you um, yeah. perceive as a spirit in the vicinity of the grave. Sure. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be very, very hyper aware the whole time I'm digging, even more than <laughs> I already was. Okay, this is bad. So you plunge your uh, spade into the earth, and it is very slow going. It is hard physical work, and it eats away at your soul with every, like. Every shovel of dirt that you throw Great out. Grandmother, I'm sorry. It's almost as you're doing it, it it feels like a almost Great a metaphor grade. for for the sort of really wrong, fucked up thing you're doing. Because the further you get, the deeper you sink into the ground, until your shovel hits something solid. And in fact, it it goes right through because the wood is so old and so rotten. Okay, well, I'll kind of scrape stuff out of the way. I don't want to. St- we're not going to snap bones and take them. We're just going to take a tooth or something. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be easy. They're so weak women. Brush bones. things away. <laughs> God. So you you brush the the soil. Your work's not mine. You brush the soil away, and uh, through the the slice that your shovel cut in the box, you see the the sort of gleam of of a a pearlescent white, fully decomposed uh, bone. Mm. Uh, would you like to excavate more? Or would you like to try and just pull whatever you see? I'd really rather not disturb these any more than I have to. Is there anything relatively small? I don't want to snap or pull. Or... There's there's something that's that's long and narrow, and then you see a bit that seems more rounded and small. So you could go for that. Okay, I'll. Uh. I'd, I'd like to just take a moment with Grandma here. Uh, Grandma Bethany, if this is you. Great, great Grandma Bethany, if this is you. I'm sorry to disturb, disturb your grave. Know that I'm going to try and set things right between our family. And it seems I need you to do that. So if you'll help me, I'd appreciate it. You get a burst of cold air down your spine that that raises the hair on your arm <coughs> and yet in your mind you feel peace and then you feel rage Uh-oh. 
And it's all very confusing. You're not sure what you're meant to do. And then almost like like the wind blowing through the trees, uh, a sort of thing you can't you can't decide whether it's real or whether it's in your head. You swear you hear the words, "Go, child, revenge." Grammy's hardcore. Oh, Jesus Christ, Grammy! Take, take the bone and very gently try and put the grave back together. Okay. It is a kneecap. You can... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> write that on your inventory. Man, Graham Graham's kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Graham Graham Bethany's kneecap. kneecap. Alright. Kneecap Grammy. <laughs> uh, I'll just go ahead and say she ain't using it. <laughs> <laughs> he kneecapped his Grammy. <laughs> I'm just D kneecap just green. That actually looks really cool. Oh. I've never actually looked at a kneecap bone before. <laughs> what does it look like? My grandmother just made it out of the so. Check that out. Huh? That that could easily be made into something cool. All right. It's pretty small though. Well, they're really um, like, yeah, they're not very big. Okay, so once size. that's all settled, uh, I'm just gonna make my way back to the van and get the fuck across the river. Jesus. <laughs> all right. Um, roll me a perception check okay. as you go back to the vehicle. What was that it was investigation? Yes. Yeah. You're gonna get eight. Two. Two? Alright, so as you go back to the car with your shovel covered in dirt, you do a quick scan of the area, and across the street is a sort of dingy diner with you know fluorescent lights flickering and dirty picnic tables outside. And next to the building in a parking lot is a rusted red pickup truck. And inside, you see that it is occupied. Hmm. And the the woman inside is watching you. Uh, <laughs> is she within earshot? No, she's a solid 70 feet away. She's, you know, across... You're still, you know, you're in the the parking area of the church. It's across a a three-lane road and then in a parking lot itself. So she's a fair distance away. But uh, by the light of that that building coming, like, through her window and and going across her face, you can clearly see that she is facing you. It's not pretty far away and it's dark. Yeah. I'm going to drop the shovel. And then with my other hand, I just wave and keep going. All right. She She doesn't doesn't react. (coughs) And then... Get in the van and drive as normally as possible, like normal people do. All right. Is this normal so people van. Five miles too what slow. What is it? When you pull out of the parking lot, uh, her her lights kick on. Her headlights kick on, and she follows you. Oh, oh damn! Oh. I don't have points in drive. Oh. <laughs> no. Where's JG? Okay, so, um, driving the goddamn bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Make my way to the bridge as driving normal as possible and constantly perception rolling for more cars. How does, how does she know he's in the family? Does she smell does she? it on him? Does she? Does she? Does she? She, she? she keeps pace with you, okay. but uh, she keeps trying to maneuver so that she is either in front or beside your vehicle, yeah. but she does not succeed. It's evening traffic, and she can't seem to get you in a, in a, in a cornered position. <laughs> So she follows you through all the twists and turns you took to get here, yeah. back to the bridge, and she indeed follows you across the bridge. <gasps> okay. But once you make the the sort of slanted, uh, you know, move to the the streets on the other side, she pulls off to the side and watches you as you speed away. Oh thank God. <laughs> okay. And that is when you return to the mansion. You mm-hmm. have uh, about 45 minutes to clean up yeah. before uh, your father uh, agreed to meet you for dinner. Mm. Anything you would like to do with this time? Uh, I need to go talk to, to to Thaddeus and ask him what the hell this thing's for. Like he's not, father's not giving me any answers, so. Thaddeus. Uh, yes, sir. Do you know about the bones? 
and what they're for. I'm not privy to the family rituals, you understand. I've only just watched everyone else do it. Uh, uh, I believe they're for protection. All right. Well. And you know, some traditions, they're more about feelings than facts, aren't they? I hope this is not one of those. Uh, I made it to my destination across the river, but uh, on the way back I was followed, so... I thought I made it back to this side. You were lucky you made it in time. You seem shaken. Would you like a drink, sir? The stiffest one we have, please. It's very stiff. Thank you. It is so smooth, it goes down like nothing. (laughs) (laughs) And it calms you right down. I'm going to... Go see if I go can. Go ahead and give yourself, the, uh, give yourself the condition buzzed, please. Okay. All right, I'm going to rummage around in the library and see if I can find any books that I wouldn't have been privy to in my childhood. All right. You Roll know, me an investigation. Useful supernatural shit. Uh, one. Not really. Not really. I mean, you played in here as a kid all the time up until your dad would, you know, hustle you out and tell you not to poke around in things that you don't understand. And, you know, it's it's old, old business. You pretty much know what's in there. Oh, okay. And right about then, uh, he, your, your father called you to dinner. You walk down the hall into the, the informal dining area. And that's where we'll go back to our friends in the tour bus. Oh, my God. He's loaded. <laughs> I mean, is this is this is this is this his house? Uh, well, this is the address he gave me. He yeah, said it says he was, so right here on Google. He said he was visiting family, so I assume either he is loaded or somebody he's related to. Maybe it's family money. Why the hell is he a cameraman for this show, Darla? You're kind of drooling. I mean, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Should we knock? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> not, not too quick. Okay, okay. Just, just they're up that way. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do we just do we just leave the car here? No, we. I'm sure it'll be fine. You, you, you actually can't really <laughs> in a tour bus. You can't really <laughs> get the tour bus much further because there is a very large wood log like arch over the driveway. And that won't fit the bus. <laughs> it won't fit. Well, JD, just uh, just uh, move it out of the road a little bit, and then we'll get off. There is just enough space for you to wedge this thing between the public road and the archway. Okay. It, it's a good thing the mail's already been delivered because. <laughs> Wait, what time is it? Yeah, at this point it's eight PM. It's dark. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> what time? Gary what time? knows things about mail delivery. <laughs> I know things about the post office. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you all approach. You uh, you all almost shit your pants when you get close to it because once you get to a certain <laughs> distance, all of a sudden these floodlights kick on and bathe the area in bright light. <laughs> It's very, very surprising. Uh, I, uh, I'm, by the way, I am leaving most of my stuff in the bus. This is a residential house. I'm not going to walk up with a bat and a machete. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good choice. <laughs> yes, well, do we... We should have got wine. We should have got a bottle of wine. I told you we should have stopped at the liquor store and got a bottle of wine or something. We, we, didn't know he was gonna be, we didn't know he was going to be loaded. Also, this is Kansas. I'm pretty sure they don't sell that here after seven. What? What? Seriously? That's a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, fuck flyover states. Oh. Hey. Scum. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, when the, the floodlights kick on, do we see any kind of like figures is or, it, or security team? If anything, it's yeah. harder to see inside because it's so much brighter outside. Uh, let's, let's at least get closer. Geez. Yeah, get close yeah. to the house. Uh, Darla said we're gonna like hold up her hands just in case there's a security <laughs> team. I think it's just emotional. I'm just gonna kind of yeah. shade my eyes. It's just yeah. yeah, your eyes adjust after a we're few not, minutes. Like, it's mostly just startling. You walk up a, a brownstone paved path up to the front door, and uh, roll me perception checks. Ooh. And uh, perception what? Uh perception would be. Presence or wit, whatever's better. Um, and uh, fuck it, this I'm doing this wrong. It's um, <laughs> sorry. 
Wits. Presence. That's what it is. No, I'm it? so sorry. No. All good. Hey, the roll's the same for me. Pretty good roll. I was doing Wits Investigation, but it's the same as Wits Presence. One. It would be two for me. Um, three. Three. Oh, hold up. I did my dice wrong. Sure, roll. Boop. Uh, zilch. All right, so, uh, JD, you notice as you're walking the, the low whirring noise of a security camera rotating on its axis and following you as you walk up to the door. Okay. Do you tell us about that? No. <laughs> Hey, guys! <laughs> There's a security... No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> anyone, anyone gonna knock? Ring the door? I will. Bell? <clears throat> All right. Of course you will. Uh, Vic is going to check himself just to make sure it's like, is my hair okay? Yeah, is Darla's my shirt fine? gonna smooth down her hair and, you know, like, she, she's like, damn, I wish I had worn something a little bit nicer. Well, we, yeah, we just got back from the theme park. I probably still smell like funnel cake. <laughs> Well, it's too late now as the door opens and Watching you this meet display of vanity. Thaddeus, <laughs> an older gentleman in a, in a uh, uh, a sort of suit. Oh, that greets uh, you. Uh, uh, good good day. I'm afraid we're not buying things today. <laughs> oh, oh, well, we we aren't uh, selling anything. Uh, we were just uh, we're not peddlers. <laughs> we are uh, Mason's co-workers. Friends. Oh, you're the young master's friends? Yes, yeah, and uh, well, he... Master? Yeah. Young master. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, well, yes, we are. <laughs> we <laughs> are indeed the young master's Fuck friends. Fuck you. <laughs> you guys you are so embarrassing. This. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't like you do any better. Thaddeus seems <laughs> wrong-footed um, by this whole exchange, and he goes... Uh, I'm I'm terribly sorry we weren't prepared for dinner, oh, this well, many for dinner. I uh, no one mentioned you were visiting. Uh, let me show you to the drawing room. <laughs> oh, uh, the drawing <laughs> room. Yes, yes the please. Drawing room. Please, 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 please do. Thaddeus, please. We don't mean to. We don't mean to impose. <laughs> we don't know. Who we just Thaddeus. We were introduced himself. I don't believe. Yeah, we were just a little curious about uh, the whereabouts of our. Well, you see, friend. we tried to get a hold of him, but he wasn't picking up his mm-hmm. cell phone. So. And he patiently waits through all of your incoherent he, babbling. He, he, left, <laughs> he left an address of where to find him if we had an issue contacting him. And so and then we he, found this in, in the way of, of formal staff, he doesn't acknowledge most of your queries <laughs> and nods and says, This way, sirs, ma'am. Yes, to the drawing room. <laughs> And he leads you to the right side of a large grand entry hall. There's a big uh, chandelier hanging in the cavernous area. It's made of antlers arranged in a circle. <laughs> and along the walls That's are heads of deer, of deer. And, <laughs> and big oil paintings and of landscapes and, and esteemed individuals. Darla sort of got her clasped, like her hands clasped in front of her, like, like a kid in a candy <laughs> store. <laughs> And he leads you through an arched doorway uh, into a receiving room with oversized leather furniture and uh, cloth covers on one side of the leather with uh, designs of of woodland animals, bears and elk and things woven into an almost Navajo-like textile and large wooden uh, uh, coffee tables. And uh, he says, please make yourself comfortable. Can I get anyone anything to drink? And he motions to a big carved oak bar on the back side of the room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like, sir? Something strong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He gives you... Uh, c- could I get a Coke? <laughs> uh, yes, a Coke, certainly. Uh, Thank you. Do you have wine? Snap. Wine? Snap. <laughs> Picture... Instagram. <laughs> he lists a very long list of white wines. Uh, what is your taste? Uh, Dry? Uh, sweet? Uh, I'll just uh, let that up to your discretion. Whatever you think is best. <laughs> he nods and he goes, the Zinfandel. Of course. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I'll just, uh, and I'll just uh, stop. <laughs> I'll, just, uh, I'll just have a gin and tonic. A gin and tonic. Yes, sir. Yeah. So he, he runs and, and gets, your, gets your drinks and gets you all settled. And uh, hands you. Uh, I'm sure in the meantime, we're all looking at each other like, okay, what do we do? Yeah, Darla just goes, oh my god! <laughs> and like looks at everything really intently, like goes to the curtain and feels the fabric. <laughs> so uh, he, he 
looks at all of you. He goes, I- I'm so sorry. We-, we do not entertain guests very much anymore. I'm afraid the room is without any kind of television. But uh, please uh, enjoy the-, the pamphlets of local wildlife and uh, the magazines our family produces. I will return shortly, and uh, I will bring the young master to you. Okay. And he, he, Thank you. And he bows Thank at you. the waist. And, and, and what is your name? Out. A Thaddeus. Sir, thank you so Thaddeus. much, Thaddeus. Thaddeus. We appreciate you deeply. Thaddeus, I, I do apologize Thaddeus. for the cold reception. I'm oh, afraid I wasn't given any is, notice. Oh no, it's, we we it's, surprised it's, you totally. It's all right. <laughs> and he he walks very coolly out the door and closes it behind him. Oh okay. my god, I'm in flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> dibs, I'm in a drawing room in flip flops. No, oh no, god, no. dibs on roasting him. Dibs on roasting him. <laughs> Excuse me? Who cares about roasting? I'm in flip flops. <laughs> he is. No, no, not you. I'm talking about. Oh my God. Okay. Mason is this rich? And he never told anybody. <laughs> I thought I was a rich kid. What the fuck? I know I said this before, but why shorts. is he a cameraman for us again? <laughs> is he bored? Is he just bored? <laughs> Doesn't he complain about money all the time? Isn't his whole thing with that fucking camera? He has a hole in one of his shoes. What the hell is he doing? (laughs) So we'll cut over. Mason, you are sat at a a very long, carved wood, traditional dining table. Please tell me he's in a suit and tie now. No, he's in what he was wearing. He didn't change, so he is. Uh, It's it's a a (laughs) modest but large table seating about 12 with chairs all down the side. And you and your father are sitting at opposite ends at the heads of the table eating off of, of white and, and uh, pink uh, old-style china. It's, you know, a very classic meal of mashed potatoes, green beans, steak with a, with a gravy on top. And you were just about to sink your knife into it in a rather stilted and quiet uh, dinner with your father mm. when the door to the dining room slides open and Thaddeus uh, bows and addresses your father. And he, he says... I do apologize for the interruption, sir, but we have um, some un- uh, unexpected guests, uh, friends of, of, of young Master Masons, who, uh, who are most excited to see him. I've, I've put them in the drawing room. You, you, I leave it to you whether you would like to interrupt your meal or not, but it seemed prudent to tell you as quickly as possible. I, I would hate for you to, uh, you know, offend Mason's friends. And the father looks rather stunned, and he shoots you a look, Mason, looks back at Thaddeus, and he goes, Well, of course, of course Thaddeus will receive them right away. And he he sort of does a mental math of the food on the table and determines that it would be a terrible idea to bring them into a room in which they cannot eat. And he says, I will finish my meal, but if Mason wishes to greet his friends, I won't keep you, son. Of course, Father. Um, <clears throat> I'll be right back. Uh, good. Has it? Re- what time is it? Goodness. Uh, sorry, Thaddeus. Thank you. All right, and I, I walk. He out. he follows you out, bows to your father, slides the door closed, and he goes. It is eight forty. Er, uh, it is eight thirteen, sir. Already. <laughs> oh no. Indeed, sir. Oh goodness. All right. Well. And might I say, sir? You may do well to uh, wipe your hands. You look down and notice that they are still smeared with dirt and, and mud is caked inside your fingernails. Ah, oh, I'll, uh, thank you, Thaddeus. I'm, I'm going to step over to the restroom real quick and uh, do a little clean up. Sure. You return, your clothes are still muddy, but at least your hands aren't incriminating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and all of you, uh, having settled into the very plush accommodations... See when your friend Mason walks through the door. Uh, Vic is saying, is talking to everyone else, saying like, why do they call it a drawing room anyway? I don't see any paper here. <laughs> well, I think that you're supposed to be in here and sort of draw out the evening. I think that that's door. probably what it For means. But I don't know. I don't read very much. Nah. There he is. Hey, we thought you died. Uh, you have, <laughs> what did they, you come home and they have you do like shorts? You you're thank, looking dirty as hell. Thank you very much, Thaddeus. I, yes, I thank, you, thank you, Thaddeus. Thank you, Thaddeus. Thanks, Thaddeus. 
Thaddeus just sort of nods and walks back. <laughs> uh, okay, Vic immediately just goes up to him and is just like, you never told us you were fucking loaded? Yes, that was very intentional. <coughs> we thought you died, but actually it turns out you're rich in somewhere in Kansas. How did then, I die in yeah, two then, hours? Well, you did. Why are you here? Already? We live okay. in a world of vampires. Come okay, on, man. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So maybe it was a bit of an overreaction, but uh, we were getting late and I was sitting in. I was reading a little magazine and and then I thought, you know what? Where's Mason? And so and then I tried to text you, but then you didn't pick up. You kind of left and told us <laughs> we absolutely kind of nothing. To text you, I think. Okay. And well, look at my phone. You have 40. about 23 text messages and 15 calls. <laughs> so and we did try, but so we didn't want to have to invade your privacy or nothing. Oh, you didn't want to. No, not really, because this was kind of a big pain in the ass, to be honest. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, I'm we might have illegally parked the bus, I'll be, I'll be honest. Yeah, you know, if the bus gets towed, I'm sure we'll figure it out. But, uh, but, I know yeah, you paid for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and by the way, your butler does not make a good gin and tonic. Oh, but he is this why He's sweet so though. Good. He's he's very nice. What do he get you? It's a it's a it's a Zinfandel. Oh, he would. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I don't know anything about wine, so I just said, "Hey, you do it." <laughs> well, well chosen then. Uh, I got a Coke. Can I? <laughs> I'll. It is. It is still in the the can. Too. I, yep. <laughs> Can I? I'm trying to handle some business. I'd rather be done with as quickly as possible, and it's dragged on much longer than I'd like. So, uh, so I, dude, you gotta, you gotta. Okay, I'm sorry, but so you gotta tell us. Him, is your family the mob? Yeah, are you? Are you the mob? I'm putting my money looks on like magazine. You buried mobile. somebody. Uh, it, is it true you can't buy wine here on Sundays? What? What do you say? Is it true? Is it true you can't buy booze here on Sundays? I, I'm sorry. I'm. There's a lot of questions that's right now. Question. I'm a little I stoked. Think that's, I think that's a little uh, when was off the la- topic. When was the last time you were in the Bible Belt? Buddy, this is my first time. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Is that seriously <laughs> the only question you're going to answer? Are okay. you in the mob? I'm really hot. No. What's your net worth? No. What? <laughs> Why are you dirty? Do you have a secret fiance? What's your net worth? No. <laughs> I had some issues to deal with the woods. <laughs> is there a... Du- He's in the mob. Is there, a, oh is there a, like a... He's like, in the mob. What do you call that thing where you buy someone something but when you marry them? Uh, like Does a dowry? Do you have a dowry? Or dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a dowry? Did they, do men have that? What? Are you going to marry Darla now? Because she really wants to marry a rich man. No, what? I'm just saying I'd did love we... to be on that show, no. Mom Wives. Did, we... I think... <laughs> did we interrupt you on this the day of your daughter's wedding? No. <laughs> Look. If this was a comic, this entire panel would just be poor Mason in the center and question balloons everywhere. <laughs> My family has a long-standing business practice that's been a part of the Kansas-Missouri border for generations upon generations upon generations. And my father had me deal with Mm -hmm. some acquisitions in the woods. Totally doesn't Uh, sound like the mom. Oh, my God. You murdered somebody while we were gone. Yeah, bloody hands. Well, I mean, there's a lot of Look, dirt in there. I'm going to walk over and grab Water. some hooch. What did Jimmy do to you? <laughs> All right, take the hooch. Um, and if you drink it by the end of the scene, you need to upgrade yourself to uh, Tipsy. Okay. <laughs> How long has Thaddeus been in your family? Thaddeus has been in my family since before I was born. He's been Does taking... he know where the bodies are buried? <laughs> Listen, Mason, I don't care if you kill people. That's all right with me. <laughs> I, I, I would take issue with it. If family, it don't matter. We killed three people like yesterday. Those were people. They weren't people. people. They were vampires. Ex, ex people. Hey, hey. Ex people. Whatever. So if you just need to unload a, like a dark secret on us or me, that's fine. You just Darla, button wealth. yourself up already. You know what? <laughs> Things no, you're like halfway out your shirt. That's all I'm saying. I'm just, it happens when your boobs are this big, all right? <laughs> I rebutt my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if think, not, if I, I'd rather mind. not stay here. If you guys really need to know, I can explain. But things aren't right <laughs> with my family. And that's why I'm on the road. That's why you guys 
have me out shooting you guys. That's because I need to learn things. I need to know things. I can't know here. I can't discover here. And I can't right the wrongs if I'm here. I just become a part of this. And for some people, that's enough. I get it. It's a wonderful life. But I can't right wrongs until some ghosts are put to rest. And I can't live with myself until that happens. And so I'll be traveling with you guys. And I'd really rather not delve into this life if I can. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll be back at the bus in no time. Let me just wrap things up here. I need to have dinner with my father. We'll do... (laughs) Is there anything we can do to help you? Not really. I've done most of the legwork today. The body. Look at JD. Body. It's the body. I, I I do appreciate you guys checking up on We just thought you were, you know, because J.D. got kidnapped by those vampires and then they, they tried to keep him as his their prisoner slave sure. man. Yeah, um, thanks. We that's, killed that's not how That's not how that happened. And then, that's, and then that's we had to go and rescue him and then, you know, then we had to murder those vampires. So it's totally well, possible. Why do you keep saying those words so loud? <laughs> so it's totally possible that, we, okay. you know. We're in his well, random family's freaking house. And you keep saying those words so loud. <laughs> and they totally have microphones everywhere, man. They're part of the mob. They probably know about this He's stuff. Screaming down the hallway. <laughs> oh, yeah, mob stuff. vampires. I'll you be, know. I'll be right back. Uh, do I know where like some board games would be? Are you just gonna put us in the playroom with the game of sorry? <laughs> do we have chess? Well, there's chess in this room, but there's also a billiard room. <laughs> okay, can I I hate to make you wait on me. If you want to leave, I'll be back soon. If you really want to check up on me, which I do appreciate, the billiard we room's do. right over there. The billiard room? Is, is there a bar? Is There's it... a bar in this room behind me. Uh-huh. One more question. You, you got a pool? Yes, no. you do. <laughs> <laughs> deception check, deception check, deception check. No, you got to roll. You can't keep. Alright, yes. Um, JT, roll you can't me, hide roll from the truth. Deception and Garrett, please roll me What's perception. Deception? Perception. What is deception? Uh, subterfuge. And last time is wit's presence. Wit's presence. That doesn't sound right. Presence and <laughs> less for him. It's it's <laughs> presence and a social skill, and I think the closest one is subterfuge. Yeah, that would be, yeah, sub- be subterfuge, subterfuge okay. for him. I would say. Uh, now, perception, I, yeah, that is that is um, wit's presence. This is wit's the most what we've been important role of this game. One. It's to, to hide whether or not this is family as a pool. Uh, two. Bullshit. Well, Bullshit. I, I, I have a bit of a irritated glint to my eye as I walk away. No, it's like, okay. You guys go up to the billiard room. I'm going to try and find the pool. What are you going to do in the pool? Are you just going to like... I just... I. <laughs> Wolf's shirt is already person. off. I'll, this is a... I'll join you. <laughs> Wolf's shirt is off. Yeah, I'm finding this pool. Well, I yeah. just can't stay here alone. <laughs> We're going to go <laughs> find the pool. You can, so I, you can I go. stop <laughs> over to him. All right. But well, I he's wrapping up stuff with his father. We're going to go look for the pool. And it's like, and just remember, we'll just say, okay. we got lost. We got lost. It's a big house. It's, a, it's also, like a maze. I pointed we to walk, the pool room. Once we walk past the bathroom, I'm going to stop and use the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll follow Mason first, and then we'll come back to the peanut gallery. <laughs> I feel like a Greek chorus that is about to do a well, huge prank. Well, well, he left, right? Yes. And then we left almost right after that, right? Yes. Yeah. To find the pool. Yeah. Yes. And then I stopped to use a bathroom, right? Yes. I'm not using the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, Full disclosure. What are you doing? I want to find Mason. Okay. Well, it's quite easy to find Mason. It will... Frick! No, it, I want to find Mason without Mason knowing I found Mason. It will, it will, require, <laughs> say, it will be easy to, fo- to find Mason. You'll have to do it carefully, though. So please roll me a stealth check. Dexterity stealth. Just real quick, while we're looking for the bathroom, is there going to, or while we're, sorry, for the pool, is there going to be any chance that we will stumble across secret family things? Can I keep an eye out while we're walking? That's for why, life? that's why we're going to do a whole scene. Yeah! Three. Yes. Three, uh, perception, please. 
Click suck at Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Mason's not that's, paying attention at dude, all. That's four ones that's, on a on a failure. That's a wow. super crit fail. <laughs> he is okay. You yeah. are so concerned with how you're going to explain this to your father that you almost don't even see where you're going. You go to the dining room on rote, and JD, you Velociraptor <laughs> sneak. <laughs> you are you're slipping around columns and behind grandfather clocks, and and, and you are the fucking super spy. <laughs> It's like <laughs> also watching out for Thaddeus, by the way. Easy pink fan. It's like it's like it's like crawling you know, that's from a good front point. of your personal yeah, 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 Come yeah, on, Thaddeus. Yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. Come on, Thaddeus. He'll need to make a pretty fantastic roll. Oh, Thaddeus is about, and you almost run into him, but you see him before he turns a corner, and you duck away just in time. <laughs> Buckley made a critical <laughs> error. What? What is Thaddeus? On the Thaddeus scale. Oh, oh my god! god. Don't <laughs> say it like that. <laughs> Uh, one. Oh, oh, Jesus. He's not father-like at all. <laughs> is, is Daddy's Twinkie? What does that mean? Oh, no. I daddy is the daddy list. I think <laughs> Daddy is just not, not sexual in any way. <laughs> There's nothing about this man that makes you want to relate to him He's sexually. A robot. I was trying to wrap my head around <laughs> being Twinkie Be and dope. old, and I didn't. I don't know how I could. Young the master. <laughs> Beep, boop. All right. So, Mason, you go back into <laughs> the dining room, head buzzing and, and not sure how your father's going to react to this news. And uh, I'm going to wait outside and listen. JD, you are able to get a get a, a sort of finger in the door yeah. as it closes. And it pinches you a little, but you do get it open enough that you can hear clearly what's said. Everyone else, you are elsewhere. All right. <laughs> we'll cover that later. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Hey, Dad. His uh, he sets his his flatware down on his on the plate with a chink, and crosses his hands, and he goes. So, who are these friends of yours that were so important that you would leave supper? Oh, Co-workers. Shit. They um, I told them that I'd be gone for a bit, and they just concern overwhelmed them. I'm not sure. Well, this shouldn't take too much longer. I oh, imagine. so you didn't come here to see me. I did. You came here because you were here for work and thought you'd just stop in. What? It's not wrong. Father, listen. Foremost on my mind at all times is our family. And I don't show it the way you... S- the way that you show it, and I don't show it the way our sisters show it, but I feel like I can't help us if I'm here. I, we don't see eye to eye. And I I love, I I love our family and I love you, dad, but look. I thought you came to make things right. Things will be made right. But I just can't, I can't do that if I'm here all the time. I need, I need to learn more out there. What you back. need is to do what you're told. If For I once in your life, if my son would, would have my back, I've given my life to this family, boy. My life. Well, not just yours. Oh, shit. What? Look, I don't think that's right. You might disagree, and surely our our forefathers disagreed. But I don't think this ends any way other than extinction for us or them. And I want things to be better than that. So, I'm not going to agree with your methods, but I'm I'm here. Right now, I could have just walked away. I could have driven past. None of this had to happen. But I'm here because I care about this family. Because if I if you didn't matter, I could have left. I could have stayed if you didn't matter. I could have just not cared. Well, you don't have to look at your mother's face every night you're gone, do you, boy? 
Put that bone on the table and come back in the morning. Dismissed. So did we find the pool? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> That's the sound of him sneaking away. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll just walk away with a great-grandmother Bethany says hi. And <sighs> Drop the mic. Mm. <laughs> so all of you uh, roll me some investigation checks, please. Okey-dokey. Can I use a much more lighthearted investigation check? Yeah, this is fun now. Can I use... Uh, real quick. Yes. Do I bump into JD on the way out? You crit failed your perception check, so I'm going to say no. Okay. You I, don't that, get that any per- more chances. That persists? All right. I, I mean, when you when you roll four ones, I think <laughs> it's fair. Can I use uh, I feel strange? No, it's a pool. <laughs> you're going to the pool, right? It's the strangest pool. And you're in a pool. weird, weird house. This, you can this use... pool is full of, of mysterious ichor. <laughs> you are welcome to use Eifert the Strange for weird stuff in the house, but Bye. it's not going to help you get to and the pool. And by the way, Bye. I'm just going to go back to the billiards room. Okay. Yes, Steven. Um, so Wolf, who's already shirtless, in flip-flops, just kind of... He was baked. He wasn't that concerned about Mason. He knew he was fine. It's just everyone else. I got four successes. I um, got one. Okay. So, uh, oh. luckily, you all only need to su- succeed once. Um, <laughs> uh, Wolf, with the with the rich people upbringing that he has, is uh, a little bit more familiar with the layout of such expansive houses. And he leads you all uh, pretty unerringly to the back side of the house and through a large set of double doors into a very large pool with a, uh, a natural stone built up side and a beautiful babbling waterfall flowing into it oh, and an array right. of very expensive looking laying chairs and, and uh, overhanging awnings and a large pavilion with a spinning fan and a fireplace in it. It's lovely. <laughs> and and wolf belly flops. <laughs> All right. Uh, you take one bashing, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Vink is just going to roll up. The, is just going to roll up his skinny jeans and just kind of like let his let his feet dangle in the pool. All right, Darla. And so while still <laughs> sipping what's left, of what that was your effort strange, by the way? Oh, I didn't roll it because I didn't think. No, I go ahead and roll it, but that's just for things in the house, not for the pool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fuck all. All right. So yeah, you walk through. It's weirdly decorated. I mean, I thought I but, was but a lot no of dead animal. animal. A lot of dead animals. So it was like rolled with of, the investigation roll. A lot of sort of uh, Western antiquity uh-huh. style things. Is Eye for the Strange rolled with an investigation or is it just straight up Eye for the Strange? It's Eye for the Strange plus investigation. Oh, I didn't roll it. Plus uh, your intelligence for the investigation check. It's a big roll. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's anything like my unseen sense, that should be way bigger than what you Oh, yeah, yeah, much better. Four. Four. All right, so as you're you're walking uh, towards the back of the house, you go past a sort of kitchen in a in a living room, excuse me, a living room area, and on the shelf, be- sorry, <laughs> hiccups, on the shelf beside the large flat screen TV, is a small uh, metal gold colored device. You don't know what it is, but you get the sense that it is it has an energy to it. Uh, a powerful energy, <coughs> and uh, it looks like it measures something. Uh, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna let the boys continue on ahead of me. Um, and then once there, there were two. I was <laughs> <laughs> gonna fucking show up to my house and steal a bunch of shit. <laughs> once they're, once they're, you know, outside, I'm gonna turn back and see if I can look at it a little closer. Mm. Sure. Uh, you look at it and uh, roll me an academics check. Oh. Intelligence academics. <laughs> no. Well, at least you're in character when you roll it. <laughs> that is a chance die, folks. <laughs> oh! 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 Do it again. Do it again. Oh! oh! Do it again. Okay. <laughs> Two. From a chance die. <laughs> well. <laughs> I think we peaked the audio there. Sorry, yeah. guys. Um, your first thought is, wow, what a weird protractor. And then it comes to you. Huh, didn't I see a documentary one time on the Discovery Channel where some guy was looking at the cosmos with that? Cosmos. Cosmos. Oh, it's like that scientist, you know. His name is Grass. 
<laughs> Grab something. Anyway, um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna look around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> So, uh, Mason, where are you going to go to look for your friends first? So I, I suppose I'm, you I'm told gonna, them the billiard room. I'm going to the billiard room where my responsible friends are currently engaged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing pool. Smugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you go into the billiard room and you find JD playing, playing a solo game of pool. Smugly. <laughs> <laughs> I just opened the door and this is... My face is just completely blank for those of you who can't see me. It's just, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> Splashing around somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please stay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the pool. <laughs> I'm sneaking. <laughs> Where right, are you now, going? I will. I'm not, I'm not are leaving. you not? not okay. Not I leaving. would make you roll again. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm staying. <laughs> I'm going to go and find the boudoir. All right, you, oh, head, no. you head towards the pool, and you encounter Darla in the living room, checking out some of your family's... Um, Mystical decorator object. Um, this is a really lovely piece. Isn't it? <laughs> what does it do? Absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't think that's true. Go back to the billiards room. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I wasn't even in the pool. I have still got no. my clothes on. I'm not here You're to... stool pigeon. Yeah. Look, I could have been... Sell you out. I could have been done with this all my way. Let's... I don't want to wrangle... Wrangle everybody, please. Just go back Listen, to Listen, they were the ones that left, and I just didn't want to be in there alone. JD went somewhere. JD stayed in the billiard room. Oh, he did not. I <laughs> 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 he did. Now it's time back to the billiard room. <laughs> <laughs> Through the the still open door out to the patio in the pool, you can very clearly see Dr. Wolf backstroking through the pool and Vic <laughs> dipping his toes in, sitting on the edge. Did we see him? Get out. <laughs> I'm barely in. Ow. I am barely in, <laughs> says, says Vic, just like just rotating on an axis on his butt just to get his leg out of the out of the pool. <laughs> I was barely in there. He did a belly flop. I did. Wolf dog paddles out. <laughs> just a dog shake. Dripping all over the concrete. Vic, Vic just carries his his <laughs> shoe, both of his shoes, with with, with and fingers with one hand, and it's just like, I'm sorry, I don't want to track too much water. Throw on your hardwood floors. <laughs> That's good. You can follow the path around the house. It's this way. Oh, I thought we were going back to the billiard room. No, we're leaving. Oh, I want to say goodbye to Thaddeus, your butler. Yeah, no, he, he's fine. I'll uh, tell could him I for roll? You. Uh, hey, could I make an empathy roll? Yeah, sure. All right. Just, I, I just kind of want to see if I can pick up the I hate everything and I'm having a really shit time off. Sure, just compose your three, so if you get three successes, you'll be able to read them. Do you need to roll an empathy roll to see that he hates us right now? Probably not. Definitely not, actually. But he's actually, looking to but... see if he detects his underlying stress. No. That's how I understand this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going oh. around front. Say bye to Thaddeus for me. I'm le- uh, Do you want me to keep the glass or should I just leave it here by the wrought iron gate? <laughs> <laughs> And four successes on that. I walk over and I take the glass from him. I'll take it inside and put it in the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Wolf uh, has succeeded in overcoming Mason's composure. So, John, if you'll tell Stephen um, what Mason's, I guess, how Mason feels right now in his truest heart. Uh, I, I don't particularly want to be here, but I've got... All of these friends, well-intentioned as they may be, traipsing about the place, causing no amount of added stress and discomfort for my family, which adds to me. I have done zero traipsing. Actually, actually, I am aware that you've done some traipsing. (laughs) According to her. Yeah. But according to all evidence, I have not traipsed. (laughs) Except witness. The amount of traipsing here has been a little uneven, but it has happened. Just like... (laughs) I just wanted you all to stay in place. I didn't want you to be here. <laughs> but no, we just went to have your own trade. Since it was for Stephen, I'll go ahead and I'll let I'll let Wolf have a, an additional little insight, which is that uh, he doesn't seem as concerned about you all as it is how your presence here might affect him and his family. <laughs> you detect right. that his tension is is coming from his relationship with his family. Okay, so Wolf slides his shirt back on, and he uh, kind of 
pats Mason on the shoulder. Hey, look, uh, sorry we're all a bunch of dumb shits, but, uh, you alright? I know seeing parents can be kind of difficult. I'll be great in Chicago. St. Louis. All right, man. Thank and, you. Oh. oh. Uh, thank you for being the dumb shits with me. And then I walk inside. <laughs> uh, Vic doesn't have the keys to the bus, so he's just standing there. Because <laughs> Mason in the billiards room is, if if there is one, is drinking directly out of the sky area. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Darla is lining up a trick shot <laughs> on the pool table. Okay. And then she nails it. <laughs> You're gonna have to roll for that to be yeah, Alright, all right, what do I do? Um, dexterity, gosh. Dexterity weaponry? <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Dexterity it's weaponry. About, about as close as it gets. Weaponry? <laughs> I mean, it's it's similar. I mean, ah. hmm. what else would you do? Athletics? The only thing would be like, it's not even athletic, maybe uh, performance? <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. Um, just treat it like an attack. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That would be two. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed that trick shot, that nondescript trick shot. And see, JD, this is how you get that ball, and she points to, to one, Ugh. into that pocket. But you got to bounce it off this other red ball first. You see where it is uh-huh. over on the left side? Not looking. <laughs> and you see, if you do this fast enough, you can hustle people for money at bars. <laughs> I, do I walk in at this point? Yes. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. I, um, we can go. Really? I thought you still had family stuff to do. In the morning. <clears throat> alone. Well, you know. Okay. Well, come with me. And I start walking <laughs> to the front. <laughs> well, if you're gonna tell us to come look for you. Right, Darla? <clears throat> that was an emergency situation deal. I thought you were dead. Oh, possibly dead. Cool. Or can... injured. You didn't text us or call us back. What was I supposed to do? Just let you be dead somewhere like JD was for an hour? Let's talk about this in the van. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bus. Well, I, I have to <laughs> drive the van. And you can't drive the bus. Because I saw what you did. I, I, I recorked the scotch and pat him on the shoulder <laughs> and put it back on the bar. <laughs> Responsible. <laughs> okay. So, if are, are you guys coming with me to the front? Yes. Do I see Thaddeus? No. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave. Yeah. And uh, do we make it to the van unmolested? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. You guys just find Vic there barefoot. It's just like, I forgot the keys. That's good. <laughs> You'll be taking them from him. He remembered the keys. I throw them to a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Okay. Got him. Just let me inside. I'm getting cold. I'll see you guys back at the... Well... No, whatever. Uh, I'm... The van's over here. If you want to come with me, come with I'm, me. I'm all right with... I'm all right with Mason. 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 Sorry, guys. I'm sick, so it's just sort of like James Earl Jones playing Darla tonight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson, maybe. Well, this uh, is paranormal. Except quest. for Wolf, uh, who doesn't have to accept the keys, but currently has them in his hands. Uh, oh no, I'm driving the van. Okay. I mean, I'm driving the bus. Yeah, anyone it's... hopping in the van? I am. I'll take the bus. Bus. Okay. Well, I guess we're making our way back. Sure. Make our way back. I'm driving silently. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sort of, Darla sort of uh, smooths out her hair, and she goes, "You know, I, I'm sorry if we caused you any undue stress. This is not my intention. If you'll believe it, we actually came looking for you because we worried. No, it's just complicated. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, everybody has complicated relationships with their families, probably." Most Probably. of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> Unless they're weird and actually have good relationships. Because I don't think I've ever actually met anybody with a good relationship. All the time. All the time. No. Uh, some of the time would be nice, though. 
Yeah, I guess. When you grow up in a trailer park like I did, there aren't a lot of a lot of good parents. Mm. <laughs> Just generally. But hey, that house is banging. <laughs> yeah, the family. What do, what do y'all do for a living? Just you gotta give me, you gotta tell me. How do we make our money? You own a variety of businesses. The primary source of your income is cattle. Back in the day, you then expanded into energy <laughs> and local publications. Texas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Texas stuff. And uh, but but recently, what's really done well for you all is wind power. Sure. Uh, energy, food processing, distributing, lots of things. We got our hands in quite a few uh-huh. pots. That's cool. Sure. <laughs> That's a. Uh, it, it it'd be nice if it was just that, but. Is there, what do you mean by that? Is there something else? It's the mob. It's if it really is the mob, you know. You, I'm not gonna judge you, because you know where I'm from. You know, people get angry and you know shoot at people occasionally, and that's not really that weird. I'm not gonna say that doesn't happen, but we're not the mob. Are you like the Texas mob? <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> Well, that's about two states over, but uh, no. Because there was this show in the <laughs> 80s called Dallas <laughs> that my mama used to watch all the time, watch all the reruns. Sure. And, and then there was those two families and they got mad at each other sure. because oil, I think. I don't know, really, to be honest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, if it is mob stuff, it's totally cool. Sure. <laughs> Which would explain the bow thing. I just thought you liked to uh, to hunt. <clears throat> sure. Okay. Well, I guess you're not really into conversating right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'm sorry that I was just trying to make conversation. No, I I got a lot on my mind. I'm sorry. Look, I... <laughs> I encountered... You guys were wondering when we met why I wasn't surprised by all the shit I said. And I told you that I had an experience before we met vampires and werewolves and whatever the hell those kids were. Yeah. Well, that's part of my family's... That's our deal. Wait, are you... Are you like werewolves? No. We... I'm not really privy to everything. I left before I learned everything, but I know... I know we've got problems. And I'm trying to figure out the cause of those problems and a solution. Because until I do, my family and another family are going to be trying to kill each other for all of time. Oh my god, it is Dallas. (laughs) (laughs) I totally understand. I watched all the five-ish seasons. You you turn into the trailer park at that time. Well, the the camper ground, not the trailer park, sorry. The RV park. The RV park and and pull into your spaces. and. Mm so, uh, as you are pulling park, Mason, your phone goes off one more time <coughs> tonight. Who is it? It's Charlie. Just a second. Charlie. <sighs> Mason? Yeah, what's up? Can you... Can you come stay with me tonight? What's up, man? I, I'll tell you when you get here. It's uh, it's urgent. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. What's the matter with Charlie? Oh, he's just... Uh... God, I have not had luck with lying tonight. Um... <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to roll if you're going to lie to me, boy. Oh, fuck. God, why do I have to lie to you, motherfuckers? Um, he's... Don't be a liar. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Charlie's... Uh, I don't know, something's up. He just wants me to come come talk with him for a bit. Can I perception check him? I mean, he's telling you the truth, but sure, you can see if there's more to it. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's trying to see if there's more to it. 
playing it cool. I mean, you heard the conversation. I mean, you didn't necessarily yeah. hear what Charlie said distinctly, but you could hear his tone of voice in that um, way that you can when you're next that, to a phone call. What would that be? Um, would it be... <laughs> what would I be rolling? Uh, rolling to get on that dick? With um, composure? Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two. Charlie sounded distressed. You know, that didn't sound super uh, casual. Is he? Is he in trouble? Is there? Do we need to go and get, you know, our squirt right. guns or something? <laughs> First off, <laughs> we don't need to keep those anymore. <laughs> Second off, I don't know what's wrong with Charlie. I will call and answer if you guys want to come with. Yeah, well, why don't but, we... but 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 he wants me to stay the night, <laughs> and that's not a oh, big. Oh, That's a not a big RV. Is and that like a booty call? Or is it Charlie? <laughs> I'm not what Charlie wants, <laughs> and Charlie isn't what I want either. Okay, well, if you guys get into trouble and you need somebody to punch something, that's about all I can do. And can you? Yeah, I could I could punch things. I could punch them pretty good. Alright. I punched that vampire to death, probably, <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean he was working on it. Anyways, um I'll answer my phone this time. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna go to sleep. You know, pat, 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 pat out of the car. Pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> Clunk <laughs> Reverse. And you peel out <clears throat> of the RV park. And that is where we will end our session for today. No! Uh, okay. Charlie! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>